Playmakers, the daily sports bulletin from the bridge that brings you the big news and the top plays from the world of Indian sports. Hello and welcome to the Playmakers. My name is Rahul Kargal. In the Playmakers today, we've got an Indian women's cricket team squad announcement, news from the US Open and the Durand Cup football semi-finals. We begin with news from women's cricket where the ICC has announced a revised schedule for the Women's T20 World Cup, now relocated to the UAE from Bangladesh due to security concerns. The tournament will run from the 3rd of October to the 20th of October and will feature 23 matches across Dubai and Sharjah. A highlight of the group stage will be the India-Pakistan match on October 6th. The tournament will include two groups and will culminate in the semi-finals on October 17 and 18 with the final scheduled for the 20th of October in Dubai. The BCCI meanwhile has announced a 15-member Indian squad for the 2024 ICC Women's T20 World Cup. The team will be led by Harmanpreet Kaur and Smriti Mandana will be the vice-captain. Other members of the squad are Shefali Varma, Deepti Sharma, Jemima Rodriguez, Dylan Himalata, Pooja Vastrakar, Richa Ghosh, Yastika Bhatia, Arundhati Reddy, Renu Khatakur, and Asha Shobana. Staying with women's cricket, Smriti Mandana has joined the Adelaide Strikers for the upcoming Women's Big Bash League season, which kicks off on October 27th. This move marks Mandana's return to the WBBL under the league's new overseas player preseason signing provision. The Indian star is no stranger to the WBBL, having previously played for the Brisbane Heat, Sydney Thunder and Hobart Hurricanes. Mandana's availability might be limited initially due to India's ODI series against New Zealand in late October. However, she is expected to be fully involved by the time the strikers head into the latter part of the season. News from the ultimate table tennis in Chennai and the Bengaluru Smashers secured a 10-5 victory against Puneri Paltin. For their standout performances, Manika Batra and Lily Zhang were named the Indian and foreign players of the tie, respectively. On to tennis uh, news now, and Sumit Nagal faced a first-round defeat at the US Open, losing to Talon Grigspo in straight sets 1-6, 3-6 and 6-7. Nagal struggled with unforced errors and found it difficult to get his game going against Grigspo, who dominated with a high percentage of first serve points and capitalized on breakpoint opportunities. Nagal will now play the men's doubles, where he will team up with Dusan Lajovic. Other Indian players in the doubles draw include Rohan Bopana, Yuki Bamri, and Sriram Balaji, all competing with different partners. The Indian under-18 men's basketball team has been placed in Group B for the 2024 FIBA Under-18 Asia Cup, which will take place in Amman, Jordan from the 2nd of September to the 9th. The group includes South Korea, Iran and Kuwait. India had qualified for the tournament by topping the 2024 Under-18 SABA qualifier held in Colombo, Sri Lanka in July. The top four teams from the Asia Cup will advance to the 2025 FIBA Under-19 Basketball World Cup. On to chess now and Grandmaster Karthik Venkataraman has uh, won his second consecutive chess championship or the national chess championship, edging out Grandmaster Surya Ganguly and international master Nilesh Saha in a tie break. The tournament held in Gurugram ended with all three top players tied at nine points apiece. Karthik's superior tie break score of 78 secured his victory. Also, he remained unbeaten throughout the championship and earned a cash prize of 6 lakhs rupees. On to Indian football now and in the second semi-final of the Durand Cup, defending champions Mohan Bagan posted a dramatic come-from-behind victory over Bengaluru FC. Down 2-0, Mohan Bagan clawed their way back into the game by scoring twice. The game then went to penalties where Mohan Bagan prevailed 4-3. Mohan Bagan will now play Northeast United FC in the finals. And finally, our play of the day comes from the Mohan Bagan Bengaluru FC Durand Cup semi final fixture. In the 84th minute of the game, when Mohan Bagan seemed to be running out of time and ideas, Anirudh Thapa rose to the occasion and scored a stunning goal to level the match at 2-1. 
2-2. Mohan Bagan would then go on to win the match 4-3 via penalties. And for that reason, Anirudh Thapa's splendid strike from the edge of the box that found the bottom corner of the net to level the scores at 2-2 is our play of the day and that's all that i have for you on the playmakers today and remember the paralympics begins today with the opening ceremony and you can catch all the updates pertaining to that on the bridge.in and our social media handles my name is rahul cargo thanks for watching until next time goodbye and good luck